Hello students, today let us talk about the mechanism of enzyme action by understanding a hypothesis which was given by a scientist called Emil Fischer and the hypothesis is the lock and key method. Now as the name suggests where we say lock and key the enzyme and the substrate also have similar geometrical shapes as the lock and key system. We see that every lock has a specific key. Now this is how we see that every substrate has a specific enzyme where there is a similarity in the geometrical shape and also the functional groups present at the active site are very common like the ammonia group or the carboxylic group. Just as a lock can be opened by a specific key, we see that every substrate has a specific enzyme. Now this explains the specificity of the enzyme. Now we see that the substrate and the enzyme on combining they form a complex called the enzyme substrate complex. Now here we see that the substrate will undergo the specific chemical changes to form the product. Now product will not have a similarity with the enzyme active site. So we see that the product is released and the enzyme is unaffected after the reaction. Now after the completion of the chemical reaction, we see that the enzyme is released into the surrounding medium. Hence, with this theory, we understand that a small amount of enzyme can act upon larger amounts of substrate molecule. We understand the enzyme specificity for a substrate molecule and also if there is any similar structure like the enzyme, it can act on the substrate like a competitive inhibitor which can reduce the product. This is what we understand by lock and key hypothesis. Make your concept stronger and stay ahead in your learning journey. Join me and other subject experts on the Tutorial app for daily free concept classes. Download the app now.